Hello and welcome to this crochet tutorial on how to make the granny corner ladder handbag. Yes, I had to play with the granny corner here and the loops is the same as if it was in Jacob's ladder. So changed it just a little bit, thought it would be fun and made a chain stitch just like the loops strap the bag is lined and I show you how to make the liner as we go along we have a little touch of macrame with some square knots here and it does hold the straps up nicely so come join me and let's make this granny corner ladder I'm probably getting it mixed up aren't I anyway let's make it it's really fun and it goes pretty quick come on let's get started the materials and the tools we're going to be using to make this purse first I wanted to point out I'm going to show you how to put in a liner so we'll need some fabric about a half a yard or 18 inches by um, 45 I have my base yarn, which is a dark color. I have a Caron Cake yarn that has multiple colors in it. I'll be using two crochet hooks. One is a 4.0 millimeter, and the other one is a 5.0 millimeter. We have a large eye tapestry needle pair of scissors. Also, you need scissors for cutting fabric. Some sewing thread. And here with my little pin bunny, pin cushion bunny, I have a sewing needle. We'll be using that to sew our liner in. To begin, we're going to be using two strands. Two strands will make the base or the bottom of our handbag nice and tight. So here I have a ball and what I want to do is just take and create another small ball by just making another ball of yarn. Go ahead and do that and then uh, probably about this big around and that way we'll be for sure to have enough and then I'll show you um, how to get started on the bottom of our bag. So, so this is the size of the second ball of yarn. So we're going to join the two of them together and have just a short tail. And let's place a slip knot on our hook. And the hook that we'll be using is the 5.0 millimeter. Start with a chain of 20. One, two, three, four. Continue till you have 20. We're going to skip the first two chains into the third one, place a half double crochet. Continue with a half double crochet to the end of the row. So in the same chain that our last half double crochet went into, we're going to place three additional half double crochets in that same chain. This will help so as it curves around, it'll lay flat. You'll notice too that I'm also going over my tail. Okay. So I have a total of four here in this 
position. Now my next stitch is going to go in between the two stitches. The reason why I don't pick up the chain is because it will cause it to stretch. So if we pick up in between, it'll give it more of a solid bottom. So yarn over and through those two stitches and complete your half double crochet. And then on to the next in between the two stitches. So continue on down till we get to the end of the row and I'll show you what to do next. All right, so here is our first half double crochet at the beginning of the row, and here's our chain two. So we're going to pick up part of that chain and place three half double crochets into that chain. If you went into the chain two space between the two, you would have an open gap hole. So let's go ahead and place three in there. One, two, here's number three. Okay, we want to come around and slip stitch into the top of that first half double crochet. All right, so now we have our bottom here. Let's move on to row two. So let's chain one. And in that same space, half double crochet. Half double crochet. So you hit the last one here you can see it how it has the four so right there at that first one there go ahead and stop there and I'll meet you there so please pause your video so I have one stitch in the first of the four in that last chain so let's add another stitch in the same space and then two into the next three stitches. Okay, and into our next stitch, place two stitches. This will be like what we did here. We added one and we stopped there. So two stitches. All right, so we're gonna go one double, half double crochet till we get to the same location at the other side. We'll add one more stitch, so we'll have two and then two in each one of the um, four or three here and then we'll add one more going over the chain stitch and then we'll slip stitch into that first half double crochet. So go ahead and do that and I'll meet you there. All right, so I have completed the two and here I am with the chain one to start. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a half double crochet into that same space of the first half double crochet at the beginning of this row. So we're going to go over that chain just like this. Okay and then we can slip stitch into that first stitch and that completes row two.
So, ready for row three? Let's chain one. And in that same space, half double crochet. Let's half double crochet all the way down here. Here we have our first two. So on the second one is where we will start to double up there. So I'll meet you there. And please pause your video. Alrighty, so I stopped right here in the middle of those two stitches from the previous row. So I did my one. In our next stitch, we're going to do two half double crochets. The next stitch, do one. The next one, do two. You can see the pattern now. It's going to be two, one, two, one. Okay, here our next one will be one. Our next stitch will be two. One. And then our next one will be two. Let's see, and if I'm right, yeah, our last one is one, the same thing as what we had started. All right, and then after we do that, we're going to do one all the way down until we get to the two again. We've got one here, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, until we get to the end, and then we will. Uh, slip stitch into that first half double crochet. Please pause your video. Our base is getting bigger. Now here, let me show you some something that I like to do. <laughs> this is how I film my videos. Now you can see I have a Note 8 and it is big enough to hold my phone in here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do one more row around and then we'll start working on our sides. Isn't this fun? See the optics? <laughs> Alrighty. So for this being our last row, let's chain one and in the same stitch, half double crochet and half double crochet until you get to the two, the first set of two, and I'll meet you there. All right, so over the next nine stitches, we're going to do two, one, two, one, two, one, until you completed nine stitches. Go ahead and do that, and I'll meet you there. So you should have ended with two. Now we're gonna do one until you come to the, the two set there. Okay, so you do one, and then where the one is on the next one, you start with two, one, two, one, two, one, over the nine stitches. The rest of the stitches will be single, and then you slip stitch into the first half double crochet of this row. Okay, so after I did my last two on the ninth stitch, I had two stitches left. Please count to make sure that you have 72 half double crochets. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to use this as our pattern for our liner as well. So that way we don't have to guess and play with it later on. So here I cut out a liner. What I did was I place it on top. Oh, it looks like I was off a little. <laughs> and then I left about a half an inch around the outside edge for seam allowance. 
and then just go ahead and cut it out like so. All right. I'm not going to cut out a piece for the sides yet because I don't know how tall I'm going to go. So here we have our liner bottom. You like the little kitty cats in there? <laughs> Looks like it's playing with balls of yarn. All right, so we're going to start working on our sides. So um, let's go ahead and place our right here. I'm going to chain one, and I'm going to move my camera up closer. So in case some of you are wondering what kind of camera I do film with, I use a GoPro and unfortunately you can't zoom in and out as the camera's rolling. <laughs> it's okay, it works. <laughs> That's what counts. Okay, so what we're going to be doing on this row is um, back loop half double crochets. Now we're not going to go around the post like everybody's familiar with. What we're going to do is we're going to go on the under just under the loops. Okay? So here we're going to go under these two sets of loops and that will cover that one half double crochet that we normally would have done. Okay? So here we got three loops on our hook through all of them. So let's do that again. So yarn over. I'm going to go into basically the same hole on the other side of this one here. We're going to cut across. So you see how we have one loop here and one loop here. Remember we're not going around the post. We're just going underneath these two loops. Then pull the yarn through those two loops. And here we have three loops on our hook and through all three. Now, when this thing starts to go up, you'll see how we'll have a nice chain stitch finish right through here. Okay, so let's do this again. Come in, go over that post, and remember stay at the top half of that post under those two loops, and complete your half double crochet. Go ahead and do that all the way around please count to make sure that you do 72 half double crochets. Do not count the chain one. That's going to get covered by the last stitch that you do. So go ahead and do that and I'll see you in a few minutes. Please pause your video. So you see how we have this nice little lip here and a real pretty chain finish. Okay, so I've slip stitched into the first. So we're going to take one of these yarns now and cut it. Just the one, not both of them, just the one. Okay. Then we're going to pull the one yarn through and tighten up on that slip knot. Okay, then for each stitch around, place, I'm going to go ahead and go over my tail as well, place one half double crochet, using only one strand of yarn all the way around. Okay. So go ahead and do that. Make sure you count that you have 72 and I'll meet you at the end of the row. So we're getting this nice little lip here and what the goal is is to get it to the size hook that we need. So now that we've completed this row I'd like for you to take your hook out, put in your other hook Okay, chain one, and we're going to do the final row 
of this color with half double crochets all the way around. So we um, chain one. So in that same space that we chain one, let's do our half double crochet and one half double crochet around. Please take note, this is important to have 72 half double crochets all the way around. So go ahead and do that, and then we'll slip stitch this row closed and cut our yarn and be ready to start our pattern. So here we have our three row rise, the two yarns, the one yarn using the, um, 5.0 hook, the last row using the 4.0 hook. All right, so let's move on to our colored yarn here. Let's place a slip knot on our hook and I'll show you where to start at. So you'll see that I have the bottom facing the long way. Find the center and come up and start right here within that line of the center. We're going to start with a standing single crochet. I'm going to go over my tail as well. Okay, chain two. And in the same stitch, two double crochet, chain two, three double crochet. Okay, just like the corner of a granny square. I'm going to go ahead and drop my tail to the back. I'm going to skip two stitches and into the third one, single crochet. So this is what we have so far. Okay, let's chain 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Making sure you don't twist it. Let's come on down. We're going to pick up the top half of that and one part of the single crochet. And we're going to do a slip stitch through all three loops on the hook. All right, skip two stitches into the third stitch, three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet. Sometimes my ears itch. <laughs> okay, three double crochet. All right, so this is what we have so far, and this is what our row is going to look like. We're going to have like our granny corner, single crochet with our chain stitch and our granny corner again. Okay, skip two stitches and into that third one, which is this one right here, we're going to go ahead and place our single crochet. Whoops, wrapped it around, didn't I? <laughs> okay, chain 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six
seven, eight, nine, and ten. And do our little pico. Okay, and slip stitch through all three. Skip two, three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet. Now I'm going to encourage you to do this all the way around till you get to the beginning of our pattern row here. And then I'm going to show you how to start the next row. Now see, this is why I always encourage you to get your yarn off. <laughs> Whoops. So, my hooks go flying and everything. <laughs> okay, so the next stitch will be single crochet after you skip two. So this is what this first row is going to look like. Remember to skip two in between your granny corner and your single crochet. So continue all the way around, and I'll meet you back here to start the next row. So this is the end of the first row of the pattern. Now we will not repeat the first row, but I wanted to show you what we'll have. All right, let's move on to finish the first row and start row two. Now, I'm, I'm sure that you got to the end of the row and said, oh, gee, what do I do now? <laughs> well, I'm going to show you. So after our um, single crochet, chain 10, and then the pico finish, you have the two spaces. And we're going to slip stitch into the top of that chain 2 at the beginning of this row. Okay. Now we need to get to this chain two section, so we're going to slip stitch through the double crochets. All right, so that completes row one. Row two is the row that we will do con continuous repeat until we get the height that we need. So this begins row two. Let's start with a chain of three. And into this chain two space, two double crochet. Chain two. Slide your work if you need to. Three double crochet. So we put a granny corner on top of another granny corner. All right, so now between our two granny corners, we need to come up with a loop. So let's chain 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, go all the way down. We are not picking up the top of the double crochet. We're going to hit the top of the first chain and create our peak over there. So slip stitch through the three loops that are on your hook and then chain one. Skip this loop here and into the next chain two space. We're going to do our granny corner. Remember to watch your tension when you go from the chain stitch to the first double crochet. You don't want it to be stretched out. 
Okay, so we're going to do three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets. All right, so this is what we have so far. And to kind of give you an idea of what we're doing, we're going to take the upper loop and go through the center of the lower loop, and this is what we will have. Now, as you're doing this, if you choose to do it each loop through each row, that's, that's totally up to you. But at the end, when we get it to the height that we need, then yes, you will have to definitely do it. <laughs> All right, so we've done our granny corner. Let's chain 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay? And at the first chain, we're going to do our pico. Now, if you notice, I always pick up two parts of the chain. Um, it keeps it from stretching. That's the reason why I do it. And after we do our pico, let's chain one. The chain one is actually for the width coming across. It's like with the single crochet that's down here. Okay, so here we go on to our repeat. Yarn over, three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet into the next chain two space. So you can see what we have so far. I like the look of this pattern. <laughs> All right. Now to come up with some other suggestions, if you wanted to change your colors, even though this row, this yarn is, um, it'll change colors after so much footage. Um, you could always do one row a different color compared to the next, but you would always change it right here at the beginning of this row. So I'm going to show you that this is the last time I'll show you this, and then you can finish this row on your own. So we're going to chain 11. Uh, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I'm going to pick up that pico in the first chain. Chain one. Skip the loop. Three double crochet. Chain two. Three double crochet into the next chain to space. So I'm going to encourage you to go all the way around until you get to the end of the row and then I I think you already know how to start the next row because we did it when we completed row one, but I'm going to show you anyway. And I think you're really going to enjoy this particular stitch. So continue all the way around until you get to where you need to start the row again, and I'll show you how to do that. And then we're going to go however long you choose to make this handbag for yourself. Okay, so we did our chain 11, we picoed, and then we chain one. So to complete row two, we're going to slip stitch into the top of the chain three, then slip stitch to the chain two opening. And then we'll start our process of row two over again. 
chain three and in this chain two space let's add two double crochet because it is the beginning of the row chain two three double crochet and then continue on with adding of the loops with the chain 11 the pico chain one and continuing on you're going to continue with the repeat of row two until you get it as high as you like or you can watch me <laughs> and see how many rows I've done which will be in a few seconds on this video so I can I encourage you to continue on and then I'll show you how to finish it off and make the top and the straps we'll see you then So you can see here I did two rows of the beige, two rows of the light white color, two rows of green, and two rows of blue. I did not let the colors change when they wanted to. I wanted to have some sort of balance because of the height of this. So I did choose to change colors at the beginning of each color change row. So now that I have two, four, six, eight rows, I'm ready to go ahead and finish and start the upper part. So let's get started with that. My next color is gray, so I'm going to go ahead and use the gray. And let me see where I stopped off at. I went ahead and tied it off so we're gonna change our color or start a new color or continue on with what you have so let me go ahead and do that bring the color in might help if I grab the two right colors huh <laughs> all right so I guess you can say this is like a little blooper session <clears throat> I had some soda sometimes soda too much sugar makes it so I can't talk so much <laughs> okay so this is the ending row so this is row one of the ending so we're going to start off with a chain three And then we're going to do the same thing we've done with every row. Two double crochets, chain two, three double crochets. Okay, so we are not placing a loop in so what we're going to do is we're going to chain two and just bring your loop forward and then go directly into our next granny corner three double crochets chain two three double crochets Okay, chain two, skip the loop, and the same thing over here. So continue doing that all the way around, and when we get to the end, I'm going to show you how to do the next row for the ending of this particular pattern. So after the last of our granny corner here, chain two, then slip stitch, 
into the top of the chain three. Okay, and then uh, I'm gonna go ahead and slip stitch. We will be placing stitches into this, but it's easier to start from the center of the chain two. All right, let's chain one and put one single crochet into the chain two space and make a large loop take your hook out now each one of these loops if they went to the back bring them forward this is where we want to make all the loops interlock on themselves let me bring my camera back and i'll show you how to do that All right, so we're going to start at the bottom with the very first loop. We're going to take the next loop up and bring it through the center of the bottom loop. The second one is now our new bottom loop. We want to take the third loop and go through the center of the second loop. And so on. So the top loop goes through the center of the bottom loop. Okay, so let's do that for each of these columns all the way around, and then we'll start to crochet um, this next row. And when you're finished with the last loop, make sure you bring it all the way up, so that way as you, you manhandle this right here, you don't have your loops fall out by accident. I'm just looping it up and showing you how easy this really is. Sometimes when I do this, I turn on YouTube and listen to music or glance at a movie. That way it doesn't seem so boring. <laughs> All right, I still have some more to do. I'm going to spare you of the boredom. <laughs> All right, so I have all my loops up. We did the single crochet in the chain two space. Now over the next double crochet, you want to do a single crochet. In the next stitch, half double crochet. And in the last one, double crochet. Right? So now we're going to pick up our loop so it doesn't come undone. So spread your loop open and we have the chain two on the back side. We're going to do a double crochet so we want to go under the chain two with the loop on the back side and then pick up and complete a double crochet. Okay, and that'll make it so that our loop will not come out. All right. Now, when you're on this side of our granny corner, we want to pick up on the right side. I'm right handed, so we're going to place a double crochet there, half double crochet in the next stitch. Sorry, I was out of camera range for a second there. Single crochet, and then in our chain two space, just one single crochet. 
okay and that makes it so that we have pretty much a straight line across I'm going to show you one more time so in our first double crochet single crochet our second one half double crochet our third one double crochet Now we're going to pick up our loop and spread it open and then we're going to place a double crochet on that chain two with the loop going behind the hook. And then push everything to the side and we're going to double crochet. half double crochet, single crochet, and single crochet in that chain two space. Continue that all the way around until you get to this last one right here where we will slip stitch into the first single crochet and I'll meet you there. So after completing this row, chain one, and we're going to single crochet in each of the stitches around. Just one per stitch. Come back here and finish with a slip stitch and we will be changing to our dark color. So to change to our dark color, when we're about ready to make our slip stitch, go ahead and pull the new color through and that'll make it so that you can't see the color from the previous row. Alright, chain two. We're going to do three rows of half double crochet so go ahead and um, just go ahead and half double crochet all the way around, slip stitch, chain two, half double crochet for three rows. Right? I'll see you at the end of those three rows, so please pause your video. So after we have finish the top band we want to make a piece cut for our liner I like to use the salvages on the very top so of course they'll be folded over so you can't see them but it'll give it um, a strength up there so I'm going to take this and turn it to the side I'm going to take my fabric bring it from here down to the chain plus a half an inch. Go ahead and mark it with my scissors. Then I'm going to take this and fold it. I just I'm knocking everything all over the place aren't I? <laughs> okay so I'm going to fold it so that the fold meets the fold over here and then down here that I have enough. So here I still need to pull some more over. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut. And then I'm going to go ahead and square cut so I can have a rectangle. And then the next thing we'll do is start sewing the liner in. Now our liner can be sewn two ways, either by hand or by machine, and of course I have sewing machines and everything, but because this is for a video, I'm going to go ahead and pull out my needle here. Sometimes long fingernails don't help, does it? <laughs> well, let's pull out another one. How about this one? Okay, 
So we're going to thread the needle and then we're going to stitch through here. And then after we stitch on through there, we're going to take our uh, oval piece that's on the bottom and that'll fit onto this and it'll fit around. And then we'll sew that on as well. Okay, so whatever you uh, had a seam allowance, it should be a half an inch. And so let's go ahead and sew this down and then take the seam. I usually stick it in the back, but if you want, you can put it on the side or wherever and then sew it around. You'll take the right sides and sew it like this all the way around. So let's do that and I'll show you how to stitch the top to the inside of the bag next. All right, so I have threaded my needle and I double my thread and place a knot on the end here. Tighten that knot. Okay, so we want to line up our ends here. and just do what is known as a, a basic running stitch. So we're going to do that kind of a running stitch all the way down to the end. Okay, and so I make them small. They're probably about an eighth of an inch long. Okay, so continue and I'll meet you down here at the end. Okay, so I stopped about a half an inch from the edge and I've gone over it twice. Um, one more time just for you. <laughs> okay, so let's open it up. I'm going to take the approximate center back or the center of this and bring our needle through. Okay, and we'll go ahead and start going around. Now, before we get too carried away, what we want to do is make it so that it is even in case we feel it might be cut out a little bit too long. It's always ha better to have it long than too short. So here's the center on the other side. And we're going to come straight across here and pin it. And then slowly go around the curve and see how it fits up. <laughs> Damn, that's good. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go ahead and pin it. And then I'm going to do this to the same thing to the other side. Um, don't cut any curves here. Um, this is for a handbag, it's not for clothing and when you go ahead and cut it then you take a risk of um, having your bag fray and we don't want that to happen. So go ahead and do that and then continue to sew all the way around and when we're done with this we'll put it inside the bag and sew it in. So, as you can see, I have finished sewing the seams around. Now, I am not going to turn it inside out. The back edge will go to the inside edge of our bag. So, here I have it folded so that it's flat in the same position that the bag is in. Now I'm going to take this and slide it in 
so that it goes all the way to the bottom. Oops, sorry, I hit the camera. <laughs> okay, so all the way down it goes. And like I said before, the little bit extra that I have here is going to be folded over. And we're going to bring it up here so that we have just a little bit of our crochet showing. Now I'm going to go ahead and pin it. And I'm going to do that all the way around. I still got to weave that end in. I'll get it later. So make sure you have all your ends we woven in. So let's go ahead and thread up our needle and I will show you how to do um, a stitch that will hold this down in place. I'm going to weave this in first. <laughs> Make sure you have all your ends woven in as well. Now when sewing this in, we're going to do just a real small stitch. It's like a hem stitch. I've come up through the fabric. And I'm going to go through the yarn and I'm going to come over here and just pick up a little bit of the fabric. You'll notice too that I'm only using one strand of thread. So I'm going to pick up a couple and then come over here. As you can tell, if I tighten this up a little bit, you can't see the stitch at all. That's the nice thing about this little hem stitch here. Okay, because you're just picking up a little tiny piece of the fabric and you're attaching it to the uh, yarn. All right, so go ahead and do that all the way around. And then the next thing we'll be doing is our straps. So after you have your lining in there, go ahead and put your hands in there and just kind of move it around, line it up, and everything will fit just fine. All right, whoops, I hit the camera again. <laughs> no, we're not having an earthquake. So the next thing we're going to do is our um, straps and our closure. So. Let's move on. So in my decision, I'm using the two last two colors that I have. And I'm going to make a long chain stitch. So let's start with um, about an 8 inch tail that will be used also to tie in on the tassels. And let's go ahead and chain loosely. We're going to be making three of these. Okay, let me tell you the length I'm going to do and the chains um, that I'm going to put on this. So please pause your video and, and in just a second <laughs> I'm going to tell you how many I chained. And thanks to the power of the video, I have chained 50. So I'm going to leave another long tail. All right. So make, um, we're going to braid these. So we need 
three for one side, three for the other side. So make a total of six chain of 50 with the long tails. Please pause your video. So I wanted to give you the finished look of what the handles will look like. We will do one for each side. Here we have the braided chain stitch for our handle. And here at the ends we have two square knots as part of the decoration. Now you'll notice that when I asked you to start to place the pattern here in the center, so our two lines that come up here are in the right place of where we're going to find uh, the location for our handles. We'll also be using the second row of the half double crochets. So now that we've already have all six of our chain stitches done, let me show you how to put the handles on. So take the three and line them up so that they're even across. From each one, take one strand of the two from the bottom. That could be any color combination that you would like, it doesn't really matter. We're going to spread them apart. Now straight up from the loop, we have our stitches right here. I'm going to go under three of them. And I'm going to pull one side of the stitching across, or the, the strands for the, the strap here. Okay, and then I'm going to come from the other side and place the hook in the same hole. And then I'm going to pull these other three across. All right, so we want to line them up so that all three of the ends are right here at the bottom. And then place a square knot to hold it in place. And then you want to pull it as tight as you can. Now we're going to place a second square knot leaving a small, like little round circle right here. And you want to tighten that one down too. I'm not going to cut it just yet so that way we can measure the other side as well. All right, so we're going to loosely braid these um, chain stitches. So left over right, just loosely braid it. And as you get tangled up on the other end, be sure to loosen that from the tangle as well. And you want to keep braiding until you get to the ends here. So I know I'm out of cam camera range, but I'm just still braiding real loose. Okay, and then I want to make sure that it looks loose the way I'd like for it. And I'm going to take one of these out, that way I can stretch it out some. There we go. Okay, then I'm going to take one strand from each of the chains like I did before. Okay, 
Okay, so I have one from each strand or one from each chain. And then here's my other lineup of loops. And into the second row, I'm going to go under three and come up, making sure that's in line here. Okay, and then making sure that our strap is not twisted. I'm going to go ahead and pull the strands through. And then I'm going to come across the other direction. And do the loose ones. Oops, I missed one. So let me go back in there, pull that one through. And then we want to place our square knot on it again. And here's our second one. Leaving that little circle. All right. Okay. And so to kind of get a guesstimate of how long these should be, Pull them over and line up the knots. Whoops, it slipped. <laughs> so that way they're the same on both sides. Okay, so this one... And this completes our bag. Okay, now if you would like to put a snap in here as a closure, so that way it will snap shut, but I'm sure that when you hold it, it will close itself because it's double handled. So, I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial on how to do this granny ladder stitch something I came up with I thought I haven't seen it anywhere else so um, I didn't copy anybody's design but it was my little design that I wanted to do for this purse here so I hope you enjoyed this crochet tutorial and until next time take care so bye bye and please come back if you like what I have to offer please subscribe to my channel garnet is a jewel and like this video Please make a comment, something you might be interested in that we can crochet together. Till next time, bye-bye and take care.